hey everyone welcome back to my channel in today videos i'm going to show you everything you need to know about getting started with square pos whether you are running a small business whether you're running a cafe a retail store this step-by-step -step guide will help you to set up and use square pos like a pro so let's dive in the first thing you need to do that is create or set up your square account so head over to square.com or here you can see get started for free it's written on the top right side corner so we'll just go and click on get started for free now here we have to enter our email so let me just enter my email i already have a square account by the way guys and here then you have to just go and click on continue this email is already used because i have already made an account in your case you will be redirected to you know making account once your account is done you will be able to sign in if you have already account just go and click on sign in here just like me and okay so here let me just enter the my email address click on continue password and click on sign in by the way guys if you're making your square account for the first time they will verify your email so make sure you log in into your email or uh, and then you have to enter a code and then your account is done great now that your account is set up let's move on downloading the square point of sales app by the way if you're using a mobile device download the square poas app from the app store or google play store log in with the same credential you just created now the step two is configuring your square dashboard so now that you're logged in it's time to configure your square dashboard this is where you will manage all the products inventories and settings start by adding your business details so we have to just go to our settings this is accountant settings once you click on it on the left side you will be it will load for a few seconds on the right side so here first of all you have to verify your email just like i told you and then you have to go to my business say inside once you click on my business go and click on about now here you can just edit your business name so i will just write here my business name here right and confirm your business names so i will just copy it and paste it here and click on save now here you have to update your address and everything and if you are branding for example if you're customizing your you know facing touch points like receipts invoices appointing a booking flow or checkout screen or menus you can just go and click on create now in the branding section now let's add your product navigate to items and orders so here on the top left side corner just go and click on home now here you will see all products go and click on item and orders then click on create item so once you just go and click on here give your uh, give your item a name price description and sku so for example let's say i will just write here watch right and here i will enter the price let's say it's for hundred dollars and click on save this is a quick create item if you want to add more details you can just go and click on create more item or once you have already created it just go and click on edit from the right side and it will give you a full panel now here you have to select whether this item is a physical good or a digital good so it's a physical good here you can see a lot more option events digital donations right and here this is a name of the product you can upload an image you can write a description and this is our ai as well so here of course we can use ai to generate it right so uh, once you have to give the prompt automatically you can set the tone length and just go and click on generate in just few seconds it will create it right so once you're happy with it just go and click on insert and this is how you can write it you can upload our uh, images so just give me a few seconds i will add it here now here i have uploaded one of the image automatically here also it got changed i can select a location here so let's say available at all future locations i can select that and let's say this is uh, just a dummy location I, I have added now this is a category so what is a category for example let's say you're selling clothes and there's a summer clothes winter clothes spring clothes so let's say we have to create a category so i will just uh, create a you know uh, one of the category here let's say luxury watch and no category is found because we have to make it and i think there's a no option to make it from here we have to make it 
in somewhere else now here add options such as size color variance and all those so for example you're selling clothes so here you can just add it for example you sell it in a black color so just write here black right and create new this is a display name so here you can just write here the color variant the size let's say it's it, it's in small then it's a it's in medium right in this way once you're done with it just go and click on create two variants it has got created now you can enter the amount for example for the medium the cost is also around hundred dollars right and everything is exactly same you can upload the images right and here this is a modifier so allow customization such as add-on or special request track additional details such as a book authors or difficulty level of the game so if you adding a book so here you can just enter this author name or if you are adding a game or something like that then you can just enter that this is a rpg game this is there's a no levels on it this is a you know in build for example black Myth wukong it doesn't have any difficulty level automatically it's adapt right so those are some of the games here uh, so sell online so it's available everywhere you know square online payment links and food pickups and delivery so if i just go and click on square online i will be redirected to new page now this is where how will customers get the orders so they can get it through the courier they can also pick up as well as there's an in-house delivery i want to give so here once everything is done just go and click on continue on the top right side corner tell us more about your business you can add everything i'll just skip it for now you can add your address later too now just a second while we build your store so it will just take a few seconds to build your store by the way you can add more than one product you can add as many product as you want now this is a square online so obviously they are not doing it for completely free you have to pay a subscription cost here so let's say i will just go and click on continue you have to pay for it and these are some of the advantages which you get you can click on the link uh, the description we have given a link if you just try to buy it from there right you can it's affiliate link by the way guys so you can just get some of the benefits and i will also get some of the benefits you can get a discount right now here uh, let's get back to here make sure you save it once you have added all this information in the action button you can change the stock history and everything now on the left side there's a lot more option for example channel listing um categories which i told you so we can create our categories from here we can put a discount a lot more just like shopify so here let's create a category so i will just write here luxury watches i can upload an image and here this is a channel visibility i will add the item so let's say this item now availability i have to upgrade it right and then i can just go and click on save i can also add my social media link instagram or twitter or something like that now the category has been created now let's get back to our home page now it's time to set up our pos system so here on the left side there's a lot more option but this video is specifically focused on pos so here you can see pos system so if you have a pos for if you are running a restaurant so you can select restaurant this is for the retail and this is a square appointment now let's go and click on square for retail start free trial so you we have to just go and click on start free trial and it will just take a few seconds the dashboard is loading right now here it says welcome to square for retail now let's go and click on next now download the square for retail app to take payment the pos uh, this is a square for retail there's a one more application which is called square pos so here you have to enter your phone number or just download this up now once you just go and click on download here in the transaction uh, you can see the everything so you will see the exact data which will get load here is once you get a sale or once somebody purchase a product this is a take payment so these are the advanced receipt here right then there's a, a discounts and everything so it's really interesting now let me just close this up and let's get back to our home page in the square now if you see that the dashboard got completely changed right because we have set this for pos system this is how you can set for pos system and it's really easy if you just go to the device management then in the device management manage your device in one place so here if you have added a pos system then you can just go and check it as well as you can add for more than one pos system here as well as the other system too if you just go to the online 
so here it will show all the devices and the profiles let it load now this is mainly for the website so if i just go and select on website here i can check it i can add a domain and there's a lot more features to run your website but obviously you have to upgrade right so let's go to home page right now and uh, here you can get a lot of option open the app and login to start a sale simply tap on item from your catalog to add to the cart right you're gonna adjust quantities apply discount or even add customer a custom amount for thing like donations when you're ready to check out tap charge and select the method so this is the for the payment right and uh, after the sale choose a print receipt or if you have a printer connected automatically it will get sent to email or text now how you can manage orders and transactions so once you have processed a few sale you want to keep track of them head to the transactions so here you will see this is a transaction tab in the app or dashboard which is given in the left side right need uh, to refund a customer just find the transaction select it and click refund as i didn't did any transaction that's why it's nothing showing up here and don't forget to monitor your inventory regular regularly square update stock automatically when items are sold but you can always make manual adjustment if needed now this is the fifth step that is uh, you know square also have advanced feature so squares has tons of advanced features to help grow your business for example you can create customer profile to track the purchase history you can also set up loyalty programs to reward repeat customers go to loyalty in the dashboard so here uh, if you are not able to see the loyalty then you have to just go to the discount options right so i guess there's no discount options here so we have to go to the settings and then just go to these accounts and settings and from here you will able to find the discounts right or uh, just for donations right so here you can just get it and um, another cool feature is square online which i just told you you can build it to if you're running a e-commerce you can build it your website and it automatically gets synced with your PO system so perfect for expanding your reach and this is it so let's quickly cover some common issues and uh, for example if you get payment failures uh, ensure your square reader is charged and properly connected manually adjust your stock level if discrepancies occur regularly reconcile physical inventory with square records right so you know and this uh, you have it a complete beginner's guide to use square pos from setting up your account to getting till the advanced features of the square including the pos so i hope you found this video very useful if uh, this tutorial was really helpful make sure to th give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel see you in the next video